Comparison is the thief of joy. I find myself always going back to this quote to check myself when I feel like I'm comparing my life to someone else's. The mind is so confusing because I could have worked so hard to achieve everything I've wanted, but the moment I compare myself to a peer who seems to be doing better than me, it invalidates everything I built for myself. This is something I've had to work really hard on, but I still feel jealous at times and feel my old insecurities rise to the surface when I feel like I don't measure up to something or someone who's further along on my path. It's not a good feeling for anyone to be in such a vulnerable state because it can distort our self-image, dig into our self-confidence. I try to stay in my own lane as much as possible, but sometimes it's inevitable because our society or because even our own families will compare us to others. Growing up, I've always been compared to my older sister and vice versa. She is a straight A student, very beautiful, incredibly talented in everything she pursues, just has everything going for her but my path didn't always look like hers. We're only two years apart, so naturally our families would always compare us to each other. And even if I know that it was with good intentions, it was sometimes really hurtful. And now I really know my sister very well. I got to know her over the years as a person, and I know that we are so different in every possible way. Our personalities are different, our interests and vision for life. But it was really difficult for me to know this at a young age because I always felt like I was living in her shadows. Comparing my sister and me would be like comparing apples and oranges. It's just impossible to compare two completely different things, let alone two very unique and complex human beings. This doesn't just apply to my sister and me, but also to all of us. I realize that it's only when we try to fit into someone else's mold, then we can see our shortcomings and feel like we're not good enough. Maybe because I've been compared to others my whole life, I've somehow inherited this habit and I really started to compare myself to others from a very young age. And I feel like social media didn't help and just exaggerated this. And I feel like now we all know that social media is just a highlight reel of everybody's lives, but at the same time, it's really difficult when you are scrolling through perfectly curated images and people who look like they have their whole lives put together and you look at yourself and really feel like your life doesn't measure up to theirs. Whether we compare our looks, our social status, maybe our relationships or just material things, whatever it is, I feel like it hits the hardest to the most vulnerable part of us and it's just not a good place to be. That's when the insecurities and the dissatisfaction with our own lives will creep in slowly until one day we can't ignore it anymore. I actually pride myself on not being easily persuaded, but I have also been very much influenced by social media. I'm so guilty of buying things because someone I admired had it or they recommended it. I'm so guilty of planning trips that I wasn't really interested in, but because it looked really great in photos. I even set goals for myself that wasn't mine, but because I felt like everybody was going for it. And at first I asked myself, well, isn't it good to be inspired by others? But I don't think it's inspiration when you're coming from a place where you lack something and you're just trying to fill a hole in your life. We can call it keeping up with the Joneses or the comparison trap, but the point is it's going to leave us feeling really empty because we're just ultimately chasing an illusion. I'm not saying that comparing ourselves is always a bad thing. I think that it can be really helpful sometimes because it can give us clues to what we want and how to really achieve it. We've been doing it since the beginning of time. 
trying to make sense of this world and figuring out what our social and personal worth is. However, solely basing our decision and our self-worth on others can undoubtedly have a negative impact. It can make us second guess our decisions, make us jealous or competitive. I've been there and it's not a good place to be mentally because you feel like you have to constantly prove yourself to yourself and also to others. Not comparing ourselves and not being around judgmental people would be the ideal solution. But is this realistic? In a practical sense, if you're really struggling with social comparison, I think it's good to get off social media for a while. But because we can't get away from everyone, we have to accept that it is inevitable that comparing and being compared is a part of life and part of self-growth. Now when I feel envious or competitive, I ask myself, is this helpful or is this hurtful? What am I getting out of this? Will this comparison help me along my path? There is no one solution, but like everything, it starts with self-awareness. Instead of comparing ourselves, we can choose to recognize our talents and attributes instead. Instead of feeling jealous, learn how to be genuinely happy for others. Instead of feeling insecure, learn to celebrate our uniqueness instead. I think it's important to allow us to feel, but also to move on and let each comparison be a chance to love yourself.